So if y'all haven't already heard, but I'm not really sure if this is how you pronounce her name. I'm going to say her because that's what she was on the inside, not a male. Although you were born a male, you could be female on the inside. And if you don't feel satisfied in that body, then it's your choice. So Leela Alcorn, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I think so. Okay. Um, has there's been a lot of controversy about her herself, and we just feel that we should portray our opinion. And if you have a problem with it, then just exit right now because go away. We're not going. To. So. Personally, when I first found out about this, I was super offended because I am a girl, was born a girl, but I prefer male pronouns and I prefer to be called by a boy's name and I feel like a boy on the inside and that's why I dress the way I dress, I act the way I act and the way I do things. You can't really help what body you're given. You're born into that body, you don't have a choice. And if you choose to change it, that's your choice, no one else's. I... Uh, and... I mean... I thought that she was a girl. When I first saw her picture, same. I automatically thought she was a girl and I didn't know what was going on. And then I saw the Facebook post that um, her mom put up. And it's disgusting what her mother said that she to keep her and the family in the prayers it's not going to be what I'm going to do because I feel like she doesn't deserve to be put in our prayers she she, didn't, she killed her child she bullied her own child to death her and father themselves I don't know how to furthermore explain that but the fact that they couldn't allow their child to be who who she really was. Yes. Like, it's... I can't find the words to say. I mean, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's okay, fine. um, we have background music now. <laughs> Thanks to this girl. Um, but, I mean... It's hard when you're... Like, coming out as a sexuality is... It's hard enough. It's hard. Because... They can tell you things and call you names, and they can make you think differently. But when you come out as a different gender identity, it's harder because you have no control over what you're born into and what your parents want you to be. Like, as a transgender person, it's hard to tell people that you want to be who the opposite of what you were born as and it's like like I mean there's no such thing as normal, let's face it. There is such a thing as common and people consider that normal. Whoever said that you can't be different can just I don't even know. I don't want to say anything here because I'm not going to offend other people's opinions because I know that we are all given an opinion for a reason. But you have to respect ours while we respect yours. We shouldn't respect yours. If you don't respect ours, we're not going to respect yours. It's just flat out. And I also want to address the hate comments I've seen about Lila Alcorn on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everywhere. What are you trying to prove? Leela's gone, she's and you're insulting a dead person. We're trying to take a stand so this won't happen again, and you're making it worse. We don't want this to happen to another person. Do you really want to be responsible for that? If take into imagine, no matter how old you are, this was your son. We're gonna call her son for now. This is your son, and you love your son to bits. And when your son is 12 years old, he goes up to you and he says, I don't want to be a boy, I want to be a girl. How would you react? If you tell your kid no, that's going to damage them. Because they won't know 
that if you go to other people and get other opinions, it'll matter. Because they went to you first, and they told you first, and they trusted you first. And you're not getting their opinion on who they are, and you're not giving them a choice to be who they are. You're damaging them. Layla was taken to conversion therapy, and a by Christian, Christian therapists. therapists, who were obviously biased, they made her feel worse. And that's why she committed suicide, because her parents, because of the therapist, because of everything. Her parents bullied her to death, and they tried to mask it and say that she was in a truck accident. We know that she was not in no truck accident. She posted on her Tumblr what was going to happen. And thank God she did, because without that, we would have fell for... Who would have thought? And it's true, I mean... She did put that she wants her death to mean something, and we do need to take a stand this year. It's 2015. When will when, prejudice and When will people be treated equally? And when will human rights actually mean human freaking rights? This is for all people. This isn't for white people. This isn't for black people. people. This isn't for straight people. And then that brings me to gay marriage, too, because... When did that become a straight privilege? Huh? Privilege. Yes. It's supposed to be a human right, not banned for gays and homosexuals. I mean, I understand that a lot of people are never going to be okay with it, but you can't control someone's right to be married. You can't say, you can't be married because I don't agree with it. They are not with you. If they were trying to do things with you, then maybe we could understand, but if someone is trying to if a guy wants to marry a guy, that is perfectly fine. There are worse crimes than two men holding hands. And two women holding hands. It's just not going to affect you. You just, what? I just, I don't care what your religion is, you know that in no world would God want you to look down upon others for being different. Yeah, so you think, you, you think God is going to let you go up while you're hating on other people, while you're being mean to other people, while you're killing other people, because if someone goes and starts protest for gay marriage rights, and then you go and you protest against that, it's worse for you, because even though what they're doing might be wrong to you, you're doing something worse because God said to love your neighbor, not freaking kill them, not be mean to them, not hate them, love them. Hate and love are two completely different things, and maybe you should finally learn the difference. And I know that everyone seems to think that being a homosexual is a sin. Haven't you realized that we all sin? There is no such thing as an innocent being on this planet right now. There was only one, and he left a long, long time ago. And we need to understand that none of us are free of sin, and we'll never be. So why would we go and knock others on their sins? And, I mean, since when did it become a sin to love someone? It just doesn't make sense. We want this all to end already. It's a new year, we hope that with this new year we can take a stand and end this all, decrease the amount of transgender and suicides. And LGBT suicides. That's transgender suicides is just 43% of transgender people commit suicide, and that's just in the U.S. alone. But that's just transgender people. Imagine the lesbian people and the gay people and the white people that are killing themselves because of what you're saying to them and of what they're hearing in their households. It's wrong. If you don't accept it, don't say it to their face. You could... Keep that to yourself, please. I mean, I know that we're projecting our opinions, opinions. online, but that's because we have to voice these things to know, like... We have to show our support, or else people think they're on their own. You are not on your own. We are going to support you through all this. She actually drew to show her support. Not she. He 
actually um, through um, a gender freedom. I can't really show you well enough. And it was just really. We don't really know how to express how much this truly does mean to us. We want to take a stand against transphobia and, and homophobia and biphobia and. I mean, there's nothing we can do but voice our opinions right now. And the fact that people are saying that it's so wrong to support gay marriage or same sex couples. I'm just. If this is like. We're not in the 1950s. This isn't a disease. It's a way of life. Of life. It's like 1950s. You get arrested for sitting in the white section. If you're if you're if you're an African American and you sit in the white section, you're arrested. And if you're a white person supporting them, you're arrested. As long as the arrest may not happen now. But we're worse than Hitler right now, to be honest. He hated the Jews and he demolished all of them. He tried to he tried to banish kill them. an entire religion and an almost which is basically an entire race. And that's exactly what homophobic and transphobic people are doing right now. They are causing these people to feel like they have no one and that they shouldn't live amongst the normal people. We are not normal. No one here is normal. You are common, and then there's different. And the different should feel accepted, not outcasted. And, ex and accepted and tolerance. This world needs to gain some acceptance immediately. No more. Tolerance isn't acceptance. Tolerance is being like, oh, he's gay. The land of the free Whatever. has never been such a lie. It means nothing to me right now. I'm not proud to be an American as we speak. And I know that we're making a progress with gay marriages being accepted in different but states. Until but it's accepted in all states, we won't be satisfied. It's not. Because it should not be like, oh, we're allowing you to get married here, we're allowing you to get married here. Why not anywhere? I mean, straight people are allowed to get married everywhere, right? Yeah. It's like, it's basically saying, hey, you're gay, you have a boyfriend, you want to go get married? Move to England. They allow gay marriage there. That's terrible. Imagine someone living in Texas, like we do, and wanting to get married. Where do they have to go to actually confess their love? Because it's disgusting com to people. They're I'm sorry. It's just not right. It's stupid. And that's just our opinion. And we're not saying we're right, you're wrong. We're saying, saying you need to you learn need some acceptance. To learn that people, no matter who they like or no matter who they want to be, have feelings because they're people too. And we were put on this earth for a reason. We weren't given a choice. Maybe it was to make a change. And I don't want this world to go to absolute hell because that's what it feels like that we're living on a living hell just walking amongst it and I walk through the hallway sometimes seeing that people are unhappy because they are unaccepted. I glance around and I see that there's no more smiles and people can't be who they are. And it's just because it's sickening. Just, society's rules have labeled anything unless if you're not straight, pretty, skinny, handsome, with muscles, if you're not a stereotype you don't belong here. This is what society is putting in your head. But it's not true. And then people tell us to face reality. We don't like this reality. We don't want to live here. I would rather just leave already. We don't want to live amongst a society that's so messed up. It's so hateful. And judgmental that people, yeah. but people want to kill themselves. It's not right. We were all given a life for a reason. We had a purpose ahead of us. And 